Manish, the potential for Google to really be a game changer, a disruptor in this space is immense. When we talk about other chatbots, a lot of their data sets are restricted to 2021 or 2022. Google Bard, with Google's repository of search data, can give you answers in real time. We'll, we'll touch upon that in a bit. But I also want to allude to what Romesh Vadwani, who had joined us earlier at the Tech Today Congress, virtually, of course, he mentioned this concept of AI for social good. And from your first point, I think we can segue into that. How much can Google really leverage its, its expertise, its research, and its understanding of AI to look at solving problems for the underserved? Absolutely. So we believe, again, AI has this enormous potential to benefit uh, humanity. Uh, and, and, and which was why one of our very clear focus right from the day one of inception of the lab was to apply, develop AI in a manner that brings the benefits to the underprivileged. So in the, so right uh, when we started the lab, we in fact uh, organized a workshop where we invited dozens of nonprofits and academic groups to come together and start identifying problems that they were grappling with. And we initially funded six of those efforts and in the following year, another 30 efforts. It has already led to some very, very significant uh, impactful work. One example would be our work with a nonprofit called Arman, which is, uh, which runs these programs to improve the uh, health of expecting mothers and their babies within the first year of their lives. Uh, they found that these helpful tips that they deliver uh, in, during every week of the pregnancy and during the first year of the child's uh, life results in measurable improvements in outcomes both for these mothers as well as their babies. Uh, and yet, so many of these mothers end up dropping out of that program. So they posed this problem to us, can you use AI to help us predict who are at the risk of dropping out? And with the very few human volunteers that we have, can you, because we have thousands and in fact now lakhs of women enrolled in the program at any given point in time, with the few human volunteers, who are the most important women that they should reach out to, to keep them engaged? And this AI model has actually been deployed in production and it's already, uh, we have done, conducted rigorous studies that show the benefits of this model in, in keeping these uh, mothers engaged and which is leading to improved uh, outcomes for themselves as their babies.